grounded legend speaks of a weapon so powerful that it could bash a bug with just a few strikes. It was wielded by the best of the best in the backyard and was once used to dominate the dreaded brood mother behemoth and her minions of mayhem on many occasions. But when the heat fell upon the sands of the box and the maze manifested itself atop the towering table, when the venomous vapors and vermin of the haze could be set free from the corrupted corridors of contaminated critters, the recipe for this weapon seemed to be lost. Only those of the Shroom and Doom still carried it now, their wondrous weapons thought to be the last of its kind. A forgotten weapon from a foregone era, nearly impossible to maintain without mysterious globs spoken only of in whispers. The whispers spread far and wide across the wallowing warriors desperate to obtain this mischievously mighty mace or mallet of mint, along with the curious cookable globs needed to fuel its pulverizing power. Its name mattered not. All that mattered now was restoring order to the yard and resurrecting the Baxter Knights who once protected the Oak Tree Council of Raw Science. From science! Delicious, magical science! The mace or mallet of mint was once the weapon of a Baxter Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a crossbow, it was a more sophisticated weapon for a more civilized age. And if you seek this incredible power, if you think yourself worthy to join the ranks of the Bax T Knights, then this is what you must do. You gotta beat the assistant manager at the end of the Black Ant Hill Lab and obtain the assistant manager's key card. There's a video linked down in the description covering all of that in descriptive detail. Then you gotta go to the center of the sandbox and locate the sandbox lab outpost, but watch out for the sizzle and the super strong ant lion. Inside, you'll find the Sandbox Burgle Chip, which once returned to Burgle at Oak Lab will unlock the recipe for the Mint Mace and the Mint and Spicy Globs. Once unlocked, you'll be able to craft Mint and Spicy Globs in the oven, and at a workbench, you'll be able to craft a mythically mighty Mint Mace for yourself. If you want to know more about the Mint Mace or what you can do with the Mint Globs and the Spicy Globs, then I highly recommend that you watch the rest of this video because... Grounded-themed, grounded-related content presented in tutorial format is basically all that I do here, and if you're a fan of that and want to see more informative and entertaining videos covering all things Grounded, then you could do yourself and me a huge favor by gently interacting with the like button, and I hope that this video earns your subscription today. Now let's move on with today's video. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming back with another grounded tutorial video covering everything you need to know about the Sandbox Burgle Chip, the Candy Conundrum Chip Sleuth Burgle Quest, and unlocking the Mint Mace, and what to do with mint and spicy globs, as well as how to craft them. Also, keep in mind that before you can even think about unlocking the recipe for the Mint Mace, you're going to need to have completed the Black Ant Hill Lab and obtained the Assistant Manager's key card. If you're looking for some help completing that, be sure to check out the description of this video for more Grounded tutorials that you may find useful. Also, as mentioned before, once you have the key card, the rest is as simple as traveling to the center of the sandbox and locating the sandbox lab outpost in the middle. With the key card, you'll be able to access the small lab outpost where a burgle chip can be found on a table in the center of the room. Once you've returned the chip to Burgle and purchased the new recipes from the swap shop, you'll be able to craft not only the mint mace, but also the mint and spicy globs. Mint and spicy globs can be created by using an oven, which will allow you to transform mint and spicy shards into brick-shaped globs that along with the new smithing station can be used to upgrade your weapons to the power of maximum, as well as bestowing bewildering status effects upon those weapons in the form of fresh or spicy. These new damage types will enhance your weapons and tools to give them additional effects when combating certain enemies around the yard. In order to craft a single mint glob, it will cost 5 mint shards. And to craft a spicy glob, it will cost 5 spicy shards. 
Both mint and spicy shards are most easily found by exploring the sandbox's underground tunnels and from digging up the many treasures that spawn across the desert wastes every few days. It's also worth mentioning that in order to craft and maintain the new mint mace, you're going to now need to use mint globs. You'll be able to craft the mint mace at a workbench using 5 mint globs, 9 silk rope, and 8 flower petals, and unlike most weapons, the mint mace is locked into the fresh effect damage category due to its minty foundations. Despite its changes, the Mint Mace remains as one of Grounded's most powerful weapons that gets even better once it's been upgraded to the level of maximum, boasting a damage level and a stun level that's only rivaled by the Club of the Mother Demon, which I'll be covering in a future video. However, despite its devastating damage levels, the Mint Mace's glaring weaknesses come from its low speed, heavy drain to stamina, as well as a steep resource cost needed to repair the weapon when it breaks. Anyway, the Mint Mace is still a great weapon despite its downsides and if you've been trying to unlock it, then I hope that this video was useful or at the very least kept you entertained. If you enjoyed the video and are a fan of grounded themed, grounded related content presented in tutorial format, don't forget to gently touch the like button and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video here on Tiny Pirate Gaming, then hopefully I've earned your subscription with this video today. You can also follow me on twitch.tv for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and if you want to ask me or the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew questions about Grounded, feel free to join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord. Links to all of those can be found down in the description. So whether I see you here or somewhere else, just know that I appreciate your support and thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. Arg matey, watch your step. There be a Tiny Pirate here.